All right, thanks for being with us this afternoon. Just getting missed by a system off to our south and west. That's where most of the activity is. And we're watching a little bit of light snow or flurry activities, trying to mainly sneak into our southwest counties. But I think most of us, for most of the night, going to be all right. Now, behind this system, unfortunately, we have another shot of cold air. Not only that, the system is strengthening, so it's going to pick up our winds, which means another wind chill advisory. I'll get to that in a second. Now here's kind of a closer look and you see like towards Watoma. I'm not quite sure if any of this is reaching the ground. Have to watch the latest updates, but either way, shouldn't be a big deal for most of us. You can see a lot of us actually going to be dry as we head through the late afternoon into the evening. Skycast picking up on that just a little bit off to the south and west. That's not the bigger story. A bigger story is going to be the colder air filtering in and the winds picking up as we head through the night tonight. Now this is what I'm talking about. Temperatures actually aren't too bad. That's sad to say that eight degrees isn't too bad. They'll be dipping below zero again overnight tonight, and we're going to be picking up the winds as well. So the wind chills, they're not that bad. Once again, they're not that bad right now. I feel like four below in Appleton, zero Fond du Lac and Wapaka. These are going to be taking a dip as we head through the night. Here's what I'm talking about. Forecast wind chills by around 130, 14 below, 25 below in Anago, close to that by tomorrow morning. Here we go again. I guess luckily for most of us, it's a weekend and you don't have to go to work. But if you're stepping outside or bringing the kids someplace, feel like like 28 below the forecasted uh, wind chill at 730 tomorrow morning in Appleton, 31 below in Antigo. You get the picture. It's going to be cold again. So wind chill advisory going into effect late tonight. Once again, for all of us until noon tomorrow. So it's not like it's a long lasting wind chill advisory this time, but still just be aware going to be another cold night tonight and a very chilly start to the day tomorrow. At least we'll keep it dry. Uh, we'll be talking tonight at 5, 6, and 10 about how long we keep this cold snap going. So hopefully you'll join us then.